Okay, so now we're going to set up the uh, Flatwood 2 six-person tent. Uh, this one is a 10-minute setup. It says it's a 10 by 10, but there's conflicting uh, numbers online that it may be a 12 by 10 tent. So that's one of the reasons we're setting it up. It's uh, six feet uh, tall in the middle. So uh, I guess it's the same series as uh, the Flatwood 2 four-person tent. Um, just a couple feet bigger, so uh, probably these, both of these tents would be comfortable with three people in them, um, two adults and, and uh, one one kid in, in the four-person tent. You could probably fit three or four adults in the, in the six-person tent, but if you have lots of gear and, and stuff like that, then basically divide the number uh, tent, how, how many it says it fits in half, and that'll be you with gear and stuff like that. So, the same as the four-person tent, you got the box inside. Uh, set this aside. This one I've never set up before, so uh, we'll see how it goes here. says on the tent 10 by 10 so it looks like the box is correct I'm not sure if there's two different versions of this tent uh, there's one that says it's a 12 by 10 so but this seems to stay as a 10 by 10 and we've got some more uh, Coleman factory leftovers here so so again we'll just do a quick visual inspection of the of the mesh Pole design. This is definitely a much larger tent than the other one. How's the, the poles look okay? Better than the last one. There's nothing splintered. You're going to have to start on that side? Yeah. <laughs> so this one actually uses longer, longer sleeves. So this is going to be one of those tents where it definitely makes a difference. Uh, how you put the poles into a tent. Uh, there's a lot of reviews online that show people having issues with breaking poles, ripping the tent. Uh, but if you use these kind of tips, uh, it should be fine. The one thing with these, you never want to pull the pole through. You always want to push the pole through. So like Brianna and Caleb are doing there, just push the pole through and feed it through nice and easy. Don't force it. Um, And if it does come apart, you always want to continue to push the tent. You don't or push the pole. You don't want to pull it because you have a risk of breaking the elastic uh, in, inside the pole. So um, you got about three and a half there. Or three and a half. Okay. Here this other one. You have to turn the turn the tent a little bit here so we can see the other pull through.
one seems to be a bit grabby on the going through here, so just be gentle. issues with this one here. It seems to be the seam in the middle here is really wants to grab the pole. So um, just ease it over. Once you've got about three and a half lengths of pole then you should be able to lift it up. You've still got about four lengths of pole there so a little bit more. Okay. And always when you're operating the tent make sure that the end of the of the sleeve is not hooked on the edge of the on the ferrule, on the pole, because that can rip the tent as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go from that side. Remember to always do the up, the uh, top pole first. So we're in there, so we'll speed this back up, making sure we're not caught on anything. So we got one in there. And this this is not a tent you can set up with uh, with one person. So now uh, Brandon's gonna have to come down and do the pole in the back here. This is quite a bit taller this tent. Yeah, and then this one just uses one clip on each. Both of these tents are 10 minute setup. Make sure that these aren't twisted, Jim. Okay, so very similar to the other tent. Uh, they both have the e-port down here, which is Coleman's way of uh, allowing you to pass an electrical cord through the through the side of the tent here. And it has a zipper on it, so make sure that's closed because if it rains and you get any water running down, you might be filling up your tent. So. Four bucks. Four bucks. One complaint I've seen about these tents is because of the dark uh, dark color, bugs like to go inside. a visual inspection is that okay, so this this mesh all looks good so I think it was a, a one off with the other tent that the other four person that I have. So you know it's gonna come over hold this and again red red forward so well that's not really very smart they tied the they tied the uh, the guy lines together here into a massive mess Okay, so this one, you have to uh, flip down the rear part of the fly first before you put the pole in for the... Once you've got the rear peg down, you know, doing the last one here, then uh, again, you just feed the pole through the sleeve on the front of the fly and the pole came apart there in the middle. Okay. Okay, 
so there's your Flatwoods 2 six person tent uh, set up. Exactly the same design, just larger than the four person tent. This one's a 10 by 10, and uh, this one's a 9 by 7. So uh, a little bit uh, wider and a little bit longer. It's quite a bit bigger tent overall. Same design of, of the split door with the window on the other side here. And uh, yeah, so we'll just uh, finish pegging this one out and, and then we'll get on to our third and final tent, the uh, Namakan. Okay, so now we're going to look at the uh, inside features of the Coleman's flat, Flatwoods 2 six person tent. So we've got uh, almost identical setup of the four person. You've got a mesh top, you've got two gear uh, holders, and uh, you've got the screen on the top of the door and on the side and you can close these up and there's uh, folders to roll them up and secure them in place here. Pretty straightforward. Just put this through the... And there you go, so it's held there. And then if you bring the camera down on the side here, Caleb, um, you can see there's an e-port here that you can pass through a cord um, to the inside of the tent. Uh, nice coverage from the roof, uh, the fly pole, and yeah, that's basically the the uh, six-person Flatwoods tent. Okay, so now we'll move over to the Coleman two six-person tent, which is, I guess, the big brother of this one here. So, um, what do we like about this tent? It's good for them to stand up in. It's good for adults to stand up in the six feet in the, in the middle. Um, other things we like, it's easy setup, same WeatherTech floor. It's basically got all the same same uh, properties as that. It is a lighter color, so it might stay a bit cooler inside than this one. Um, it would fit three the three of us with our gear nicely. Yeah, three with gear is no problem in this tent. It's a 10 by 10 footprint. Uh, things we don't like about this tent, not really much. I mean, it looks like a pretty solid tent. Be nice to have a, another window. Yeah, it doesn't have a window, but it has a full fly, so it's kind of a trade-off. If, if you're going to camp when it's raining, um, you've got full fly coverage all the way down past the window. So once you stake it out, you do get ventilation. Yeah. There is no other windows to see out of. So overall, it's a pretty solid tent. It's got the e port on the side, uh, the same as the four. It's got the WeatherTech floor. There's two storage pockets inside. Same thing with the fly, it covers the window. Yeah, the fly covers the window, easy setup. Both of these two tents you could set up with one person, probably. Um, yeah, I, I'd say that's a pretty solid tent for family camping. No quality issues with this tent either. Um, yeah, 